So we want to pry this top box off this bottom one so we can lift up the top deep uh, brood chamber. And I'm going to go in at the crack here and just sort of go left, right, left, right, and ease this thin hive tool edge in under the wall, um, not deep in here where you're going to be pressing on bees who are walking on frames inside. So you get it in about an inch or an inch and a half and use your leverage. I don't want to go bang and I don't want to immediately start wrenching up and down because I haven't gotten in far enough to do a good lift. You could go down or up and if it's not working, try a few other corners and then also try to squat down and look in this crack here and see if any of the frames from the bottom box are stuck and rising up with this box. Frames from the bottom box might be stuck to frames in the top box. And if that happens, it really helps to have two hive tools. You have one prying your box up and the other one is pressing in just very carefully a tiny distance in to press frames down because we don't want to be crushing all the bees as soon as we poke our hive tool in there. Another thing you could do is do it with one hive tool. And to do that, you have to kind of support the weight of it with your hand. And you don't even look, you kind of feel with your hive tool. So I've raised it up a little and I kind of creep along and I say, oh, here's one that's coming up, good. Here's one that's coming up, press it down. And this is something that experienced beekeepers do without even thinking, and they don't often explain it to beginners because it's such uh, a, a habit of theirs just to open up the back and sort of feel and press things down. Um, beginners don't have this problem because their frames are not all covered with propolis, but as time goes on, things get stickier and stickier. So don't forget about frames that might be coming up from the bottom. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up.